Hi everyone, I'm your host John Curriglia and this is Mouse Times Videocast show number 7. On um, this week we're going to take you a little look around what's going on around the resort. First we're going to be taking a look at the touching up of the castle which I saw back on September 29th, 2006 and as you're watching right now they're uh, they're painting over the the patches that held up the giant mirror. There's one on the right and there's one on the left. So let's just uh, watch them. They're actually, I'll actually kind of narrate what they're doing because there's no real audio to this one here. Um, basically, they're just taking the same color code as the as the building itself and doing it over. But they hop on over to the other side, and you'll get a chance to see what the patch looks like before the whole paint goes over. But they're adding a whole several new features to to the castle. So basically, let, let's just keep on watching it. And uh, and we'll wait until we hop on to the other side. Okay, now as we're zooming into the other side here, you can see the, the bucket. Now you see that little tan square? That's where the pole went back into into the castle to support the gigantic uh, mirror on the front of the castle. You can see it clear right there, and so what they're going to do, they're just going to paint right over it. And uh, we'll just go from there. So just uh, everyone just watch and... Uh, this, it's a rare opportunity because usually they normally do this at nighttime, but this was Friday morning, and it was really odd that they did it right out in the open. So, uh, just uh, just go ahead and watch it. Anyway, before this takes too long, let's just fast forward right through this. Okay, now that it's pretty much all done, we can tell. Now we're going to kind of uh, zoom out here a bit. And you can tell that they're starting to do work on the turrets. And here's a good clear sign. We're going to zoom into a particular portion. Now, on the top portion, as you can see, it's the new tiles. On the bottom part is the old tiles. So basically, it's going from this old faded blue to this nice, crisp, rich blue deep blue color and it looks really nice as you can tell by those two comparisons right there but so far uh, when I was only there they had only done some of the right portion of the of the turrets uh, they're supposed to be working on the left side and as you can tell that crane is immensely huge it's even bigger than the than the castle and as you can see that's the touch up that j they just did it's pretty noticeable and as we zoom to another part of the the castle you know something right there? That, that looks pretty interesting. Uh, it's, I don't know, I guess they might have to replace that or something, but that's also where the characters were. Uh, they're gonna, definitely going to be replacing those tiles as well. You can see some of the patches in the back there. So basically as we zoom out, you can tell the difference from you know all the, the turrets that have been replaced to the ones that haven't been replaced yet. And, Basically, what they're doing now, they're hoisting them up to bring them around to the back side to to get to the other side because they don't want to knock near any of those buildings. So basically, they're just kind of lifting them up, and I can't imagine what that view has to look like from all the way up there. That's got to be an amazing view.
This really gives a good comparison of how high they are. That's the top turret. That's as high as you can get to that castle. But they're almost to the top right there. So basically they're going to swing around the back side of it. As uh, we're going to watch right here. Actually... It, the crane moves really slow, obviously, for obvious reasons, but for obviously for safety reasons. But as you can see, it swung through the backside. You didn't see I saw it. So basically, it's going to lower it down now to another portion of the castle that's going to be working on. So as we zoom out, you can see how tall the castle is 189 feet. The crane has to be over definitely over 200 but you can see in comparison how tall because the, the crane is usually tucked away on that on the right side of that pathway and it's all folded up and you really can't get a sense of how tall it is but when it's all unfurled it's it's tremendously long and when you're there in person it's like holy smokes because this thing is so big I, I must say that has to be a little unnerving though the way it's kind of swinging a bit because it up there it gets a little bit windy so I don't know if you folks but I'd be just a little bit I think my nerves would be just a little bit rattled just a bit it's like you know you, it's like one of those things on a ferris wheel when you're swinging back and forth it's one of those unnerving things so but they got their safety harnesses on they're going to be reaching out for, for those uh, the spires right below them you can see those two little uh, metallic towers come up I'm um, basically I had to really cut a lot out because it was so boring because it you, you imagine how long this would be because they go really slow so watch, gonna, one of the guys is going to grab out to it when it gets a little bit close. See, it's those two little metal poles that he's going to be grabbing. doesn't hit anything. And basically after that I kind of finished stop recording so next up on our video playlist will be the commercial taping on Main Street USA on the same day. They were taping it for the Year of a Million Dreams and they just kind of picked out families at, you know at the park and basically kind of put them into the perspective and there you can see the crane in the background you, that's how tall it was it's immensely tall so basically uh, we're on the edge of Town Square on Main Street as you can see the corner of the confectionery right there and basically they had that, that whole section corned off you had to either just keep on walking around confectionery. You couldn't stop. You can only watch in the confectionery if you were inside the building. So basically, they had r this whole area rerouted, as you can tell from this different angle right here. They had two gigantic screens. There's the family right there, and basically, you had a camera on a on a rig, a two a couple of cameras on a rig on the track. That way they would move back and forth, and the two cast members are standing at the corner, you know, as you, as you would enter the park. 
So basically, they're taping for the commercial. So if you guys see a commercial with that family there, this is when they did it. They did it. They did it. September 29th. So let's uh, just watch and, uh, and listen. supposed to come in, talk to the cast members like, oh, what you gonna do? What ride do you want to go on? Who characters do you want to see? And, and this and that. You know, and basically, you know, I think they did maybe three or four times to, to, you know, just get different angles and everything like that. But as you can tell, you know, I had this large, I had to actually move, believe it or not, because uh, I was blocking a pathway, I guess. The the left side of the pathway was like wide open so I don't know how the heck I was uh, blocking anything but as you can see you know they just walk off off camera and basically it's seen right there you know they just stop right there and then basically they also did another scene as they were coming from Main Street and moving to Town Square as they, was, as, like they were leaving which you'll see in uh, this next scene right here which is uh, coming up next Here's that scene I was talking about. And, uh, basically, I'm inside the, the confectionery right now, looking out the 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 glass 
window outside the corner window and basically that was the only place you could actually watch from from the confectioner you couldn't stand outside and and videotape obviously because you'd be in the shot so basically that this was the only spot I could be in and that, as you can see that cast member on the left side there made sure that people who were, weren't moving were inside the building and you can see there's the break right there it's on about 32 roll uh, not roller skates but skateboard uh, wheels that uh, that give that smooth roll to it Jordan I'm sorry, that would be 24, because you have four on each side, so, you know, it's 24, I'm, I, my bad. I can't do math in my head for crap. <laughs> And basically the woman that's right in front of me are one of the those dream watchers I guess you could say the, the, the people that uh, go around with for the uh, the year of million dreams that they're in like a blue blue button-down shirt you have like a, a black bag that has that logo on it I don't know where everyone seems to be getting the white vest or any or white anything but basically all of them wear like a blue uh, button-down shirt with uh, black pants So basically that's all that kind of went on on uh, Friday morning. So as they, the family finishes up, they come to the confection, uh, come into the confectionery, and then the next family goes out and they do the same thing. So basically that way they have some choices to use. So now let's move on to the progress over at the Living Seas on that same day. Now as you remember from our last podcast, they were drilling holes for the to place in the new, you know, the fish and everything like that. So basically, they've already finished that. It seems that if you're looking at it right now, it seems like they've been like shrink wrapped or something like that. Well, trust me, they've been shrink wrapped. They've had some plastic. Uh, I I'm not gonna say saran wrap, but it's like a plastic bag, and basically it's been taped around to protect it from what I don't know, but as you can see. You know, it's just blue tape, and basically they've taped up everything except. So you see that shark right there. It looks like the decals have been taken off just temporarily, but as you can see, a lot of the uh, 
stuff has been added and uh, here we go we're gonna go in for a good uh, tight shot I took off my wide-angle lens as you can see it is all just pretty much all plastic wrap now with just tape around it so let's actually head inside and see what else is going on now for the people who don't know what you're looking at, when you're in the uh, observation deck, you have the, the large core which is right in the middle. The lights were on and basically it's a spiral staircase that actually leads to the top of the aquarium. So it was a rare opportunity, usually they have those lights off and it, it's just a metal grate so basically it's uh, for maintenance use and, and for dive quest how people get up into the up into the top of the tank right there. Now other stuff that that maybe the video doesn't show is on the outside of the observation area through the through the glass the the windows that are right below you there's a lot of scaffolding that's going on and what that's for is for the new effects that are going in uh, for the you know the old sea cabs as you can see, that, see that large tunnel? That's the, the tunnel that you come in and it kind of goes around. Now you can see a little bit of the scaffolding, the, the pipes and everything like that as they are kind of jutting out some of the white tubing. That's basically some of the support structure for the Okay, we're looking at the Fountain of Nations fountain and apparently it's going through its rounds without music and the side fountains are just like, <laughs> look, they look like they're just like spitting without any choreography whatsoever. Yeah, so this is how they've been going for the last, I don't know how long, but as you can see, they're just kind of like spurting out water. And there is no music going on. So this is kind of weird. Yeah, this was definitely really weird for me. Uh, this was on the 30th, on Saturday night, and as we're leaving Epcot, the, the fountains are kind of like firing off. As you can see right there, they're just kind of like spurting out water. With n There's no music or anything like that, as I just explained earlier. But it was just really odd. I have never seen the, f the fountains do something like this before. So this was definitely really odd to watch. So I kind of just stayed here and just kind of watched it a bit to uh, show you guys what was going on. So basically that'll do it for this Mouse Times video cast number 7. But don't forget to visit the site for more upcoming Mouse Times videos. The High School Musical Pep Rally over in Tomorrowland. An improved Spectro Magic Parade. The Dream Along with Mickey stage show at the Castle Forecourt. And of course the Seas with Nemo and Friends. The annual Pass Holder Preview on October 13th through the 15th of 2006 so stay tuned there's a whole lot more to come